back again to share some great medical medium information with you. I bet you're wondering though why we have all of these juicers hanging out on our counter here. Well, juice is the best medicine for you and it's really important that you have the right juicer to extract that medicine. So you're probably wondering which juicer is the best juicer to juice the medical medium celery juice. So today, that's what we're gonna be talking about. We had uh, a chance to use a bunch of different juicers and we're gonna share uh, what juicer we found to be the best juicer for celery juice. Now I know some of you might be wondering, why do I need to juice my celery? Why can't I just eat it? Because we've definitely gotten that as a common question. Well, you want to extract the medicine from the celery. By juicing it, you're allowing it to get into your body much more quickly and easily and removing any obstacles. So for example, the pulp would be an obstacle and by juicing it, you're eliminating that piece of the puzzle. And as an example, Anthony, what what he says in the book is, do you uh, make a cup of tea and then take the tea bag, the fiber in the tea bag, and eat that? Well, no, because the medicine is not in the fiber; it's extracted from the fiber into your your cup of tea, and you're drinking the most powerful part of it. Right. Yeah, exactly. And we're not saying to not have fiber. We still get fiber by other fruits and veggies that we eat, but when it comes to celery juice, we just want to stick to having the juice. So juicers, they've been around since the 1930s. And what also was around in the 1930s, the products, they were being produced for the masses. And they were being produced cheaply. So what that meant for our food is people weren't going to their local uh, butcher shop anymore. They weren't going to their local farmer to get uh, their fresh fruits and vegetables. During that time is also when you would start to see DDT, heavy metals, radiation, and viruses on the rise. And a lot of people started piling into the doctor's offices. The point is that juicing, juicing celery juice, will help remove all of those toxic things. And it will get rid of viruses, right? When the viruses are the things that are wreaking havoc on everybody's bodies. So it's, it's very, very important that we get these, these this juice in our bodies so we can we can start to heal. So back in 2015, Ben fell chronically ill with Epstein-Barr virus. He had all sorts of mysterious symptoms that were blurred vision, vertigo, tingles and numbness, chronic fatigue, brain fog, um, heart palpitations, um, uh, panic attacks. That went on for about a year and a half where I was going from doctor to doctor and you know couldn't get any answers and then you know we found medical medium Anthony William and he was able to uh, get us on the right track and uh, here we are today. So Anthony he recommends 16 ounces on an empty stomach first thing in the morning and we started doing that and pretty quick after we saw some amazing results. Yeah, I think it was like maybe after two weeks of Ben doing it, he was able to get off the couch and do a little bit more. I mean, his symptoms were still there, but we could see that they were lessening and there was definitely some improvement. So through our celery juice journey, we've had a few different juicers. So we thought it would be great if we explained to you guys what those juicers were and which one we thought worked the best for celery juice. So this is the Bella, which was our very first juicer. We had gotten it from Ben's parents. We didn't really know what we were doing. We had started juicing even before we heard about medical medium, and we didn't totally know, like, what do we need to do? We said, like, what's the best for your body? And what time of the day 
do you do it before or after you eat? We weren't really sure, um, but it did the job just fine and we definitely saw some results. So our first juicer here, the Bella, this was a centrifugal juicer. It is center fed, so you feed right up here on top. And then that's fed down to a blade on the inside here. So this is the blade and this spins around. And as the blade chops up your, your celery juice, it sends the fiber around to this side part of the juicer. And then what happens with your juice is your juice then falls below down there and then comes out right here into your cup. So that's how a centrifugal juicer works. And these juicers are great. We're not going to tell you any juicer is bad because we want you to juice celery juice. We know how great it is for you. It will, it will help you. So uh, the downside to this juicer is that it heats up. It's running on high RPMs, rotations per minute. So I think the rotations per minute on this one was like 40,000 rotations per minute, which is, which is a lot compared to like the Omega here, which only has 80 rotations per minute. And the more the rotations, the higher the speed, your juicer now is heating up. It's losing a lot of that nutritional value. What we noticed with, with the Bella was when it, when it got hot, it caused separation and you'd be drinking celery juice and you'd have brown juice in the bottom and green juice up top. Then we got the Hiram as a Christmas gift and was definitely a big upgrade from our original juicer. It's a masticating juicer, so it runs at a much lower speed, about 80 RPMs, so you're getting a lot more nutrients from the juice. We noticed that we also got a lot more juice from the fruits and veggies that we were juicing. There was less spoilage and less of any sort of heating up. Then, though, when we started to juice celery and juice a lot more, yeah, then we started running into some issues. Uh, the machine worked great for juicing like oranges and stuff that's very soft, but the minute it tried to handle something that's very fibrous, it, it started getting clogged. And it would get clogged to the point where the machine would actually heat up, and then it would have the opposite effect on what it should be doing so all of a sudden we started losing nutritional value we started seeing the separation so it was like we were going backwards in time we were like going back to the bella here and we're yeah. like man we, we paid all this money for this juicer it should be doing 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 it right right and so we troubleshoot with customer service and they suggested that we chop up the celery um, opposed to just putting in the stalks themselves mm -hmm. and that seemed to help a little bit but when we started to up our celery intake to about 32 ounces a day both both of us so were juicing 64 ounces at one time it could not handle that the um, the pulp would just build up it wouldn't come out I mean, we did we did everything that we were supposed to to allow it to come out and then as you'll see the top started to get so hot that the plastic was melting and we knew that that was not a sign um, that this wasn't the best juicer for juicing celery juice. I mean, we loved it for other juices sake, but for celery, it just, it didn't seem to do what we, what we needed. So after doing all that research and looking into all these juicers, we ultimately decided on the Omega juicer. And the reason we decided on the Omega juicer, well, there's there's actually a lot of reasons. Uh, I'll start by just explaining how it works. So you feed your celery in through the top. You don't have to chop it up. Remember we were telling you you have to chop it up here with this one? This one, you just feed it right in and it's got a single gear. And so this is the, the single gear right here. And this rotates. And as it rotates, it chops up the celery juice. 
for the cell root to and converts it into juice. And this omega is giving us some great quality celery. It's not turning it brown. I mean, yeah, it it's has, good. It hasn't heated it up at all. Like Ben said, it hasn't turned brown at all. Um, and the cleanup has yep. also been super easy. Um, I mean, it's still a juicer with its part in pieces, and you know, it takes at least, what, five minutes? I'd say under five. Under five. My record is four. Okay. <laughs> Um, but it's definitely been the easiest to clean out of all of these juicers, and that's really key with the juicer, especially if you're using it two times a day or even more than that. Yeah. You want that part to be easy. And another reason the Omega is so great is they really stand behind their product. It comes with a 15 year warranty. <laughs> so if anything happens for 15 years, you're, you're covered. Which is, which is great, most companies don't give a warranty For that of, long. of 15 years. Yeah, it's also multi-purpose. So we can make nut butters in this, we can do um, banana ice cream or different uh, frozen fruit ice creams with it. You can juice all sorts of fruits and veggies as well. Yeah, it doesn't have to just be celery juice, you can <laughs> juice other stuff. We, yeah. we use it for any sort of additional juices that we make through yeah. the week and stuff. And we're not sponsored by Omega, no. by any means. <laughs> we're just truly wanting to help guide you guys with your juicers. Yeah, even on Omega's website, when you go to Omega's website and you go on there and you look at their juicers, they actually have a juicer for celery juice. Like it's on the website <laughs> and it's celery and it's a juicer made specifically for celery. And there's no other juicer out there that is claiming that this juicer is made specifically for celery juicing. Okay, so now you have learned about all of the different types of juicers. Tell us if you're going to do some celery. We'd love to hear about it. Or maybe you're already juicing the celery and want to share your experience with us. Or uh, let us know about a different juicer that you love. Also, be sure to subscribe so you can stay tuned for a really awesome celery juice series that we have coming up that you're not going to want to miss. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. We'll see you on the next one.